Hello, you are welcome. In this video tutorial, I'll just explain you the project at Driving School Administration. This project is developed using Visual Basic with backend SQL Server. Driving School Administration, this project is basically for all computer science students who are doing a course in BE, BTech, ME, MTech, BCA, MCA, BSc, Diploma, or any other computer science course. So we all know as for a curriculum, you are supposed to do a project in your semester. So that depends on the which course you are doing on that particular semester you are supposed to do the project. So you require an idea or you require a topic to do a project. So driving school administration is one such topic. So this is a desktop application. So if you want to develop this project in bb.net or cshop.net or java or android, then this video is very useful for you. In this video, we are showing the complete project, how this works. Therefore, using this idea, you can able to build this application using any of these languages. This video will help you to gain language skills. So here the language we are using vb.net, therefore you can get some vb.net skills. Domain skills. So domain is basically talking about the driving school. You should understand like how the driving school works and what are the things are required for the driving school. How do we make a project for the driving school? how it's useful for the driving school, how the purpose will be served. So all this you learn, therefore you get an idea of driving school administration. So otherwise what happened like, you, know, you want to do a project, then you have a difficulties like where to start, how to start, what to put, what not to put, all these questions comes. So therefore it will have solutions here. So watch the complete video, get the complete idea and then try to build up this application using any of the language which you already discussed. We can also make a web application, but then using this idea, you can make a web application that is also possible. Work experience, the more put yourself into the projects, then you'll keep on getting the experience. And if you develop the project by your own, you definitely get a work experience. Means you don't need to go all the way to company to get the experience. You can sit at home and do practice the projects and you'll get an experience. That experience definitely count when you try for your job. Therefore, seriously try for this project, uh, it definitely help for you. Let's understand how this uh, driving school project works. So what are the requirements and uh, what are the things we have provided in this project and what are the advantages, so what are the disadvantages, all we will discuss here. So as we know like driving school is the one actually where we can learn the driving. So this is a driving school. So they'll take the admission, student admission. So this is a driving school. So people who want to learn driving school, so they'll go to the uh, driving school. So let's say applicant. So when the applicant go to this, so here we have a courses, okay? So therefore driving school will have the courses. They have a different courses. So it may be a two-wheeler course. You want to learn two-wheeler. So it may be a LME, that is a light motor vehicle. That is nothing but car. Then the HME, that is heavy vehicles. So these are the different courses and there is a corresponding charge for the each course and the durations all will be set actually. Now you will inquire and then you will file the join. So you can join for the particular course. So this is what important for them. So they collect all the data from you. So in order to file to the government also. So then after collecting all this data, they'll take you to the this particular course. After that, you have to make the payment. So fee payment fee payment. So you need to make the payment. They will collect the fees. Based on that, we need to generate the reports. So in the report, so we want to know where I join the course, join list, join list, payment list, course list. What are the courses are there? Course list. So now what are the advantage of this? So this is the desktop application as we already discussed, desktop. Therefore, it not required any internet. So this will work in their office itself. So here is office, they can put on computer. So then they can install this software, it will work. So when the applicant come, they can enter all the details. They collect the fee payment and they can print out, like you no know, all the printout necessary printout, they can take out from this system. So therefore this is a desktop application. So main advantage is, so no internet required. So second thing is, it will little fast because you don't need to connect to the internet, so immediately it will work because all the data is located in the same system. So works fast. So and also they can take the printout, so that's the one more advantage they're getting actually. So 
you can elaborate it you can add up more things to that project but at this moment uh, these are the minimum things you required for a mini project so if it's a mini project so you, around 12 forms will do the job 12 to 15 again depends on the course what you are doing so when you can able to complete around 12 forms then you know like you get a complete idea so then you can add up more forms to the project and reports okay so now how to make the report that is also one important therefore the project can be divided into three parts one is basic data entry that is a master master entries basic data entry so here what are the courses already available that we need to enter it here all the employees who are there working with us that you need to enter then process so process is applicant will come and they'll join for the course and they'll make the payment then the reports so three things should be there so here what are the data enter it will be called here and because when you say course name so therefore course name what is already entered that list has to come here so for we are fetching from here and then we can select one from this then when you say fee payment so who is the applicant so what is already entered here that will be linked over here and you can say select the applicant and then we collect the amount from him so this is the amount we can collect reports based on what are already there so that will be generated uh, from that data it will be generated and it will be shown on screen so these are the things you should know and aware of it and you to try to implement that into the project now so let us look at like what are the requirements so software requirement so this is a software requirement uh, uh, if you are using vb.net so vb.net sql server visual studio is a editor windows 10 is a operating system now let me show you the forms what are the forms are there in the project so here we are using all these forms so they are in the alphabetical order but you go to mdi parent uh, there is a menu so there it will show like in order okay what which has to come first which has to come at the end all the reports has to come at the end and all the basic entries has to come in the beginning so here is the first screen flash screen so this is the welcome screen so this is the first one will come then the login form then the mda form module is to declare all the global variable and functions therefore it will be in the back end right next we will have a qualifications table to enter the all the qualifications then we have a designations or a profession of the applicant that is there in the basic entry and course detail so this is the sixth one and then what are the vehicle types so there is a vehicle types here that is the seventh one next comes to the admissions so there is an admission here so you can take up the admissions once you take up the admission so they need to pay the payment so this is the ninth one right so based on that we can uh, generate the reports there is also got the vehicle details that you need to enter the beginning only so this is the report vehicle list a uh, receipt list admission list so these are the reports okay so this is the report 1 r1 so this is the another one here it is a a list report so this is r2 receipt report then there is a r3 like that okay so this is the forms which are required in the project these forms i'm showing in the vb but you can still try the same way in c sharp in java also you can create the same number of pages and even you can use android in android also we can do this one right so next is a database tables what are the tables are required and we are using microsoft sql server as a backend so here we have created all the tables one is admission table to store all the admission details course main table to store course details here designation applicant designations what is do that is there fee table to store the fee collections login table login credentials qualification table all the qualifications will be stored in the qualification table when applicant joining this will automatically pop up over there in the drop down list box we can choose one from the list vehicle assign so we can allocate the vehicle to the particular uh, applicant vehicle main what are the vehicles we are having then vehicle type so what are the type of vehicle so this is the main entry this is again it will go as a sub entry in the vehicle main table so we can have a foreign key reference to this vehicle main table for for uh, more details you just log on to iblix.blogspot.com you can also log into our website iblix.com in case you would list would like to contact us please contact via this mail id or mobile number now i'll show the demo of the project so before getting to the demo if you are not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe here please share this video with your friends and family members and you want to say something to us so please write the comment then we know like what you are looking for and if anything we can help you out fine so i started visual studio 2019 
So here is a Visual Studio 2019. In case you don't have this software, you can just go to any of the browser, search for Visual Studio. So it will take to Microsoft website. There is a free edition here, uh, Visual Studio Community. You can download from here. Okay, right. So next thing is we already opened the project here. So driving school administration. And here you can see there is a server explorer. You go to view menu. Then you can see there is a server explorer. See the server explorer. Uh, here you can see that you can't see the database now. I link to the database. So in order to link to the database, I right click here, add connections. And here you need to select uh, Microsoft SQL database file. So this is of the data type you are using now. Microsoft SQL server database file. Select that. Then you browse. Then this is the project folder driving school in that there is a bin folder in that there is a debug. So you have to keep the database in the debug folder. So this is a movable database. Uh, I'll show you here. So you can see that uh, this is a project folder, bin folder and then uh, debug folder. Here is the database. The two files join together make the database. And here is the project exe file. So this is the exe file. So therefore exe file always run from this particular folder. So referencing to the database will be easy. So therefore we keep the database in this debug folder. Now, so here we selected the path, then you click OK. Fine, now the link will be established. Now if you expand this, if you expand to tables, you can able to see the tables. So this is the tables what we are using in the project. If you right click and you say show table data, it will show the data, what are the data is available. So therefore you need to practice all these things and you need to explain in the examination. Let me run the project. So start. So this is a welcome screen. We have some picture here. We can put any picture, make the picture ready first. Then you have to link it over there here. Then login page. Here it is admin, then admin. If you give the wrong password, naturally it will give the message box stating that uh, the user ID password not correct. Then master entries, qualification details. You have to click the new button and then enter the qualification details and then you have to save. So there is a ton standard. You want to make it as a degree. So any degree. Save. So the record is saved. When you click on the text, so again the text will come back to the text boxes. And you can see that modify and delete button both are enabled. Now you can modify this. By making the changes, we can make the modifications. So modify. So you can change the background color, you can put some pictures, make it more colorful, all possible. Just uh, we have only gray color here, but you can make it more colorful. Designation table. So here we have one kind of the driver. You can keep on entering the more designations. What are the designations available in the driving school? Course detail. So here is one course. So for example, you want to learn car. So car driving. Um, So what is the course fees? So cost you around 4,500 rupees and it is a one month course. Right. So next is the vehicle types. So what are the vehicle types available in the driving school? That we already list auto, car, two wheeler. So if anything else you need to add up here. Next is the vehicle detail. Here you need to write the individual vehicles. So if there is a car K05 M2222 is the code and then there is the car so select the car so what is the make so it's a maruti uh, here is a detail so new maruti car purchased on when is purchased so you can take current date uh, insurance is up to maybe probably you need to make another one year or two year then save so a new car is added to our list next is admission now the applicant will come so they want to join so application number come automatically so how to get a new number? So you have to write the SQL statement, select uh, A number. So otherwise max of A number from the admission table. So max of A number will give you the last number plus one. If you add, you get the next number. So then the course name, which course you are joining car driving. What is the name? So Kiran is the name. Then what is the address? So then mobile number. So you can complete the complete address. Then enter the mobile number here. Qualification list will come. So therefore you can choose the qualification list and uh, designation or profession. So profession, let's say uh, student, okay, still you are uh, studying. Any other details, you can enter it here. Otherwise, okay. 
So save this. A, a key run is done for the car driving. The fee. So you need to make the fee payment. So therefore you go to the applicant. So this is a Kiran here. Select the applicant name, and what is the amount they are paying? So now you are paying two thousand five hundred rupees. So initial payment. So you save this. We collect the money from him. There is a receipt. Now based on that, these two are the processing. Okay. So the rest of them are basic entries. These two are the process. Now we have a reports here. So if you go to admission list, you can see that uh, overall joint. So that list will come. Here is a print option. You can take the print out of it. So next one uh, course fee collections. So what are the courses fee we collected? That list will come here. Even we take the print out of this. The next one is vehicle list. You can click on the vehicle list. The vehicle list will come, and you can take the print out. So therefore you can stack up your vehicles. What are the vehicles you are having? Right. So these are the things which are covered in uh, this project. So plan it. So you can improve this. Uh, maybe try to complete this first. Later, you possible. You can add up more things to the project. Hope oh, uh, this is helpful for you. So please subscribe to our channel and um, thank you very much for watching.